let's start the mission. If you say so, Commander. <sighs> I am your commanding, sir. Does that mean you're going to destroy the world because you're Snake? You do realize this mission is rated three skulls. Three skulls? Oh, no. Well, we've done three skull missions before and been okay. Yeah. This is a boss battle, actually. And it's a damn hard boss battle, too. <laughs> okay, I think I know what my issue whenever we're doing a bunch of this stuff is going to be. What is it? Um, kind of like with the last videos, deciding where I should start the commentary for the other videos and where I should end oh. it. Maybe you should start it right now, because this is Longshot Luigi. Hockey Fan 315, though, we probably said that at the beginning of this episode, which we're tacking this on to. My guys just went black for, like, no reason. <laughs> they went gangster. We're, fi we're fighting a boss. He's gonna hold the machine gun, uh, side armed. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Came after me. It always comes after you. It likes you. Ah. That's an AI weapon. The pupa. It's All right, I'm just going to wait for it to careful. stop moving because there ain't no way I want to waste these these rounds, these missiles. No, I, I don't have any. Any what? Tell me. I don't have my uh, law. Dude, isn't that like the first thing we need? I had my shotgun and my machine gun. I forgot the law. You disobeyed the law. Oh, oh fuck. That thing just hit me. Oh my god, it did hit me. It makes sense. Ah, don't shock me, man. Don't tase me, bro. Alright, we did two bars of damage now. This is good. He's hitting me. A lot of damage to the shotgun. Okay, he went away. Time to eat some, some chips. When it's out. La 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 went away. I ate some toti tostito chips. Delicious chips. It looks like there are stairs right here, but you can't actually climb up them. Jump it! Ah! I like the, <laughs> the way it sounds. It's like la 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 la. Oh, how did I miss that? I'm out of law. I'm gonna use a um, supply marker, okay? Okay. I'm gonna shotgun it. Well, it shoots me. Oh, what? what? I don't want a cardboard box. What did <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> He's like, they've okayed your request for a cardboard box. But they actually did send uh, ammo. Never mind. Don't run away from me! Towards me after I said that. What's that? All right, we got four bars of damage on this sucker. These things, if I remember correctly, get bitch because they help him spread out his freaking attack. Yeah. So I'm just gonna destroy them all around me. Yeah, I'll do that too. I want to do that as. Well, he's not here. Hopefully, he doesn't show up like right. Make sure use some health items, dude. I'm okay. I have a. Why do you have to keep on coming out right in front of me? I I'm okay because I have a ration to equip. So this way, if I drop down, get up. Okay. I'm doing damage. Run. I'm out of law. It hasn't done its punch attack yet! Dude, look at that. We got six bars on here already. I'm not even joking. Like, we are doing like, the best thing right now. And by we, you mean I. <laughs> uh, oh, he hit me. I'm just doing the most damage to him right now. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, just, I don't mean to be a dig, but I'm the one doing the... With the... Just shoot him. Just gonna stay here. Ow, 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 ow. Oh my god, that hurt. I don't have rations equipped. Where's my rations? Where's my rations? It's got it. I almost got it. 
I love this machine gun in this boss battle. Which one? The M60? Ah. Damaging. You could just like hold on and fire. He hit me. Out of ammo with it now. Here though. he comes. Is he coming behind me again? Yeah, there we go. Should have a shotgun. Oh, we almost got him, dude. This guy, this sucker's going down. Hit it. I'm going in. Can you? I think you can go in right now. Come at me, bro. Buddy. He actually does listen to you. There, there we go. Go in there. I'll shoot him. I'll shoot the. I'm shooting the hatch. Shoot the hatch. I got it. All right. Okay. I get to do the whole little puzzle now, I guess. Yeah. Get, get in there. You do. You get. It gives you like a timer. All I have. All I have to do is survive out here. What's the puzzle? <laughs> I don't know, dude. Just start grabbing shit. <laughs> okay, just start grabbing shit and I guess um, press random buttons. I'm pretty sure the only button you can press is like A or Y or something. Okay. You um, can unlock memory boards by destroying the mechanical components that they control. Attack different areas of the exterior to disengage the lock. Yeah. What? Do it. Good sir. Oh fuck, he's he's gonna kill me. So I can take the green ones, I'm guessing? I'm in a box. Okay, I'm taking all the green ones. I guess I'll take like that one too. Ah, he can hit me even in the box. I'm out of rations too. Or no, I'm not. You take like one. You just hurry up. I'm hurrying up. Can't go much faster than this because he needs to like walk around and like all this other stuff. And ah, there we go. I took all the stuff out. Now what? I do it. Yeah, you did it. That was weird. Did yeah, I, I know. All the colored stuff out? What? Did I just need to take all the colored stuff out? I'm pretty sure, yeah. But that's like one of the easiest puzzles ever. Oh. Wait, I'm still inside. Oh, there I am. <laughs> this thing just floats away. It just leaves. La la la! Yeah. We kicked that thing's ass. We did. I thought we were going to have kind of a hard time with that, but we just wrecked it. Mm-hmm. See, the thing about it was that the supply marker, you get extra ammo if you ask for that it. Was an unmanned yeah. weapon. A prototype. But, like, you I lose heroism if you actually ask for it. I'm yeah, if you ask for it too much, that well, is. Well, used to, anyway. Names because you only... I like this guy's wheelchair. It's Wait more of a and who might crawling you chair you don't than a like wheelchair. If my legs ever get paralyzed, Me. I'm probably uh, uh, entomologist. But um, I want a wheel ch wheelchair like that. Yeah, I specialize in butterflies. I'm here to catch Ulysses. Ulysses? Hmm. Huh? I didn't think they lived in Costa Rica. Morphos, maybe? That's it. Uh, need to get some before the Washington <laughs> Treaty goes into effect. I love how everybody just sort of goes along with what he's saying. Uh, must have slipped my yeah. Mind. You're the you camera sure you're photographer, or you're the photographer. Oh, okay. Anyway, oh, you're here to see uh, butterflies. Okay. <laughs> it is a butterfly. The Peace Walker has got a butterfly on it. I know it is a butterfly and all that other stuff, but I just like how they're playing it so straight-paced. What was that thing? What are they doing here? Huh. Something tells me you're no ordinary entomologist. No! Really? What gave it away? The eye patch? 
the awesome <laughs> epic beer. The fact that I had Project assault rifles with me, phase. or sorry, in this case, shotguns, grenades, That's rocket right. launchers, rocket launcher, a machine gun, the bases scattered throughout Costa Rica, and that I didn't die AI fighting AI that weapons, thing. The research we were conducting here, it's all for this. I wonder if you can actually get the poopa to, to like be a mech in your unmanned. outer ops missions. Robots. Maybe. The one you just I don't hope so. A I, actually, you can. A flying type called Chrysalis, oh, do you just need to be the person who goes in and gets the stuff out of there? I think so, because I did that. Motor control, but it, it, it lets you build detection, one, actually. Tracking, cool. Attack, Okay, now something kind of cool about this, um, GWTJ and TR all stand for, uh, Teddy Roosevelt, Thomas Jefferson, and George Washington. Where are we zooming in on this thing? I don't, I don't actually know. Uh. Well, there you go, hot cold man. Man, he's the one running the show. Great name. We called it the Peace Walker Project. I shall name my first son after him. <laughs> no, I think that's a bad idea. Here's the here's the basic background. Yeah. Okay, what I don't get right now is why are they unmanned in like like working on unmanned. It can move on its own. He's going to explain it right here. No, but why would they be working on unmanned uh, weapons or things that can fire nukes in this game? Mm -hmm. But in Metal Gear Solid, the original Metal Gear Solid, if Rex needs to be piloted by somebody. It rains all year round. The terrain is full I don't of know. What's the time holes? frame for it? A lot of the time, you can't even build a proper. This road. game takes place in so the seventies, I believe, and that? the Legs. original takes place, Walking I think, two thousand and one. Mobile launcher carrying a thermonuclear really? even yeah. more powerful than the Soviet RDS two twenties. Metal Gear. That actually kind of looks like Rex, even though it's. We did the assembly and field testing here. Oh my gosh. I sort of borrowed the original Which reminds me, I need to start playing the original the Metal Gear. And yeah. Yeah, because I kind of want to do a Let's Play of that, too. Metal Gear. The only problem was the first time I played through it, I was doing a pretty good job, but I was low on health. Coldman needs mm -hmm. funding for into a room that had a they needed a gas mask to survive in and I you didn't have the mask no I had the mask but a second the second I walked into the room I died <laughs> you just look at him and he dies yeah. well it's because I didn't have the gas mask equipped and the guy mm -hmm. like the whole thing was like that weapons the other is sure to launch theirs in retaliation which makes launching an act of suicide in the end neither side can use it mm -hmm. that's basically the scenario right there the yeah. that is deterrence if I'm not mistaken yeah at the very least it's preventing like if you shoot me I shoot all mine at you too and we both but die. The theory of nuclear yeah. deterrence exists only on paper. In reality, there's no guarantee that either side would follow through with retaliation. There's yeah, so that would be like kind of weird. I shoot places. you don't shoot but back at me, I just look like a giant asshole right there. But the biggest flaw in the theory yeah. is that the decision to But then again, I guess that wouldn't stop me from firing beams. more stuff on you. Let me give you a If anything, it would cause you to fire X even more. First yeah. If the people in charge of Country Y are like you and me, they're not going to be able to retaliate, knowing that they're effectively ending all human life. So then the weak link in nuclear deterrence theory is the uncertainty of retaliation. That yeah. actually mm. makes sense that and puts a little bit of a hole in uh, the first strike. Why, why we were able to do nuclear deterrence so well in the uh, Cold War. Did you ever watch the movie War Games? The no, but I know how it kind of ends. Every time. The only Without winning move is not to play. To make the yeah. Launching a nuclear Because no matter it, if you shoot first or they shoot first, we're all gonna die. Yeah. It closes the loophole in nuclear deterrence theory. 
But I mean, again, the only way that would actually work would be if the country actually fires back. This is what they're trying to guarantee, that if they get fired upon, the machines will fire back regardless of what anybody else, you know, wants. But what they're also trying to do is to test out their theory on it. They're trying. They're going to fire a nuke on Russia. In this. Really? Yeah, they're going to test it out by firing a nuke on Russia and saying, like, hey, this is what we can do. And if you fire back on us, we don't have control over it. It's just going to fire back on you if you fire back on us. So, in your face. Oh. I had no choice but to face up to So even though like that KGB guy in the first couple of cutscenes was seemed like an absolute I dick, he mm -hmm. yeah, has a really good reason for sending us into this They've area. Got to be stopped. And I kind of agree with him on this. Even to prevent though, to, to prevent his country from being launched at yeah. And it's base? again it is probably a very good them? thing because if Again, if we fire on Russia with using that thing, using then that pretty much assures that Russia's going to want to fire back, but we can just like wave our finger and say, ah, oh, oh, you fire on us, we're going to... We have no control over the, the thing the, shooting back at you. Yeah, so... We war, haha, -ha, in your face. So we just pretty much nuked an entire city of yours. I guess you could compare it this means I don't think Obama has the balls to to back up the. Let's not talk about. <laughs> All right, let's leave that one alone. And select an appropriate for retaliation. Johnson or Nixon in office? I forget which one. Depending on which, who's in the. Uh, when what year this takes place? If it's like seventy-two, then it might be Nixon. If it's earlier, then it's John. Where's it being made? Hmm. Wasn't it seventy-four? Seventy-four was when I believe Nixon resigned. Uh, I could be wrong about this. I'm probably going to look it up, and if I'm right, put it up on the screen or something like that. In the field of AI, there's no one better. That's for sure. But man, My American history has kind of been... She hates everybody. Uh, I've been for more forgetful about it. I know stuff, a lot of stuff, sure like from the revolution up to the uh, reconstruction, oh, pretty much. One more thing. Mm -hmm. What's this? Other than that, it's kind of like yeah, sketchy it's, um, in between. It's from me to Dr. Strangelove. It's, oh, a, it's a love letter to Dr. Strangelove. Okay. Yeah. It's Dr. Strangelove is a woman. Is it? So what I don't know. <laughs> it's, I'm pretty sure it's a guy. It's a creepy I'm guy. It is probably a creepy guy. Who would call themselves Dr. Strangelove right and be a... That's a good movie, though. Not so I've fast. never actually seen it. Why not it's an us? old movie. I know. It's in black and white. Mm -hmm. you fit right in. It's about the Cold War, I think, too. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, one of the most famous par I know, I've never seen it, but I know it's one of the most famous parody movies of all time. Mm -hmm. Or sorry, satires. There, yeah. A parody is a movie like Airplane. A satire is a movie like Doctor Strangelove. Or How I Learned to Love the Atomic Bomb. Yeah, that's what it's, it's actually what it's called. How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Bomb. Probably just deja vu. That guy rides the freaking nuke with a cowboy there? hat, like a bucking Beyond bronco, all the way down. <sighs> Was it directed by Stanley Kubrick, or am I thinking That's of a completely different Strange movie? I don't know. Because I know that Stanley Kubrick in. Um, I forget what movie it was now. War and Peace. That's kind of. Oh man, I forgot what the movie was called, and it's really famous. But anyway, he takes like so many jabs at America in that, in the movie that it's Full Metal Jacket. Oh yeah. He takes so many jabs at America in that movie that it's like not even funny, and the only way you'd be able to notice it is if you pay like really close attention to it. I like that movie. Never better. It is a really good movie. Yeah. Call me Snake. 
How did we only get a B through that? I don't know. It in 17 minutes, I think. I'm pretty sure those minutes count as with the cutscene too, because that battle didn't feel that long. Yeah, true. I'm pretty sure I'll be of some use. All right, so next time on Metal Gear Solid Squad Co-op. I appreciate you. Yeah, I'm sure you're okay with having your work. We'll see you next time. I'm. I'll be using it to keep past mistakes in check. If I can help thwart the Peace Walker project, I'm happy to do it. <laughs> Deterrence theory, Huey style, huh? <laughs> anyway, if you need any intel on the enemy's weapons or electronic brains, contact me. I've been given my own frequency. Sounds good to me, Doc. I'll do that. Good. Whatever the means, you must put a stop to their plans. <laughs>